The Slim Fast 14 Day Effect on your New Year's resolution. Day one, the new year. You want to kick it off with a bang, and you're not just talking about fireworks. Day 14, you're ready to start this year right, looking great, and preferably on top. Two weeks is all it takes to get what you really want. Swap two meals a day for Slim Fast protein shakes or bars, get in a 30 minute workout, and stick to a 1200 calorie diet to lose up to six pounds in your first 14 days. Find Slim Fast in a store near you. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Real Housewives of Atlanta After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Real Housewives of Atlanta After right, Show. She's a bitch. See, I got more cheese, so back on up. While I roll up a slip, she's a bitch. You can't see me, Joe. Get on down while I shoot my flash. Come on, Stephanie, bring it down, Seth. Break it down. What is that? Oh, you drinking some tea? Roll up in my car, don't stop, won't stop. I'm gonna keep it rocking to the clock, don't stop. Yo, what up, After Buzz is? Welcome to the Real Housewives of Atlanta After Show. It's your boy, DJ Jesse Janity, here in studio for Sour Grape, Sour Peaches. Season 6, episode 12. That horrible. Well, speaking of uh, peaches, I got my beautiful peaches over here. We got Stephanie Bauer. Hey, Bill. The lovely Courtney Stewart. Hello. Which you're actually a Georgian peach. I am a Georgian mm-hmm. peach, baby, baby. She's bow, official. Bow, bow. Born Stephanie, and you're a, uh, or, what's Florida's She's a Florida orange, orange? I guess orange, yeah. Peach is definitely the best, like, hands down, like, peach. Heard go. that. Oh, Courtney did her. <laughs> <laughs> mm, well, the peaches were not sweet today in this episode. Because, no. I mean, it has just turned into, I mean, like, the girls have become gay men at yeah. this point. They are reading each other for filth. I, I feel bad for anybody. Any woman that these girls are all bringing their friends on the show. Everybody's auditioning, y'all. Yeah, if auditions. it's an audition, it's like who it can keep up audition. with the girls? Yep. Can you keep up? Mm-hmm. Like that, I was nervous for these bitches. Like it's like bringing a girl into the lion's den. They are going to jump on you. But nobody's done good so far. I mean, they're all jumping on, but nobody's really doing anything. Like come Marlo, on, just I want Marlo back, Marlo. back after, after like, this. Hello, Marlo. She doesn't even try. You and know? She didn't. She didn't even have to. She was to. just like, huh? <laughs> the whole time, <laughs> they all look messy. Well, let's start at the beginning. We have uh, Cynthia was at bar one. It's her three-year anniversary with Peter. And we've been to Mary. Why are you making that face? Girl, because who's like, it's our three year anniversary, three long years. Like, three long. It's bitch, it's, you're a newlywed. Yeah. You're a newlywed. Three long years. And they've had been, some struggles. It's been such a long No sex. Bad struggle. No money. I love how he takes her to his own mm. restaurant. Like, hey, I'm broke. Okay, he ain't got I'm no money. I'm so pissed. Hey, at least he made it like cute, like and had a song, and that was awkward. And all weird. right, well, just as if he couldn't prove that he wasn't Girl. even more broke, their friends Christopher Williams and Natalie come over, who apparently have been together, so they say, eighteen years. Or they so, have been. So Natalie together. said together. Yeah, together. <laughs> um, Natalie brings up, you know, hey, yeah, I know Todd. You know, she was friends. He was friends with me, dating my friend, and it was young love, though. And but I will say, she did not say that he was an opportunist. She didn't actually. I feel like Cynthia's the one that said that, like in her interview. But what she said is, she goes, "Todd knows how to find himself in situations to better himself. Does it everyone? Every, and if you don't, you suck in life. Yeah, and that's what happens. Yes, but at the same time, I see what she was trying to she's, say. She's, oh, she's. Yeah, I do I try to, you know what I mean? I want to be with the same damn mistake I was with last time. <laughs> but you don't use it in that context. She was saying, alluding to the fact of he'd be looking for, you know, a, a little cougar with some money, I some, think some coin. It's easy to say that about anybody that's going to get with Candy now because that's what everybody immediately thinks when a guy gets with her. Mm-hmm. I don't think he was ever like that. I think he was a cheater in the past, but those are two totally different things. You think he's a cheater now? 
<laughs> Not according to Candy. She got all the money in the body, and she fine, and he ain't got the cheek. Girl, she was acting like her pussy is juicy fruit. She at was like, was he ain't going nowhere. At like, first it was cute because her point was that, you know, he did come up. She, nothing better than her. Exactly. But then now she's like, he will never cheat on me. I was like, oh, girl, don't say that because right. you're going to look really stupid if he does. Just because you got the money, just because you got all that. Trust me. He And if he is cheating on you, he probably cheating on you with someone who's uglier. Of course. They always mm. do. Always. Mm. Mm. But here's the thing with cheating on you with the lizard lot. I just learned what a lizard lot was. What is that? What is a lizard lot? A lizard lot is the girls that be in the parking lots trying to hook up with the dudes in the big trucks. The trucker girls. The trucker girls. Yeah. Okay. And Todd be traveling. Those those RVs be parking. I'm just saying. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I mean, they're, um, literally, they're talking about this girl that he dated when they were like young kids, like, like twenty. Once. Girl, by let's get back to the struggle of this anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, "Oh, honey, I have to show you what I've done with uh, you know your little modeling center across the street." Now, first of all, you got me out here on our third anniversary. You gonna have me walk across the street in that dusty? We seen Kenya almost get hit by a car in that street. <laughs> That's because she was drunk and stupid. In my dusty he in dusty heels to cross the street in the dark. And now we're going to go in here and oh he's got he's got candles. I can't with these VH1 Bravo shows where these girls are accepting below below yeah, them. Like, I mean love and hip hop to any money. Girl, lo- <laughs> bitch, I ne- would, hold up. Would, neither would Ella no. be mad if he took her Girl, to like neither does Peter Guns of Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> and he at least found a damn projector to put something on the damn that wall. That was not okay. <laughs> That was not okay. So all I'm saying is... He just bought a car. He bought a building, damn it, that he couldn't afford. Right? And he, no, you, you bought, better eat in that building. You better make babies in that building. You better use everything you possibly can in that building to make that happen. So I'm he made it saying. another restaurant. I'm just saying. It was saying. like a second venue. It's like even... The, he could have had a blow-up man. bed in the other room for he a special night at the tea, hotel. He brought the tea lights over from the damn oh, restaurant. Hey. He brought the... Da- I was Some like, are we going to do a witch? Wine? What is this? A ceremony? It did look kind of like a seance. <laughs> like the way it was on the I'm like, you couldn't have got some bigger candles. Yeah, like, I was like, is charm gonna come some up? Flowers. In here? We need some petals. <laughs> some yeah. an inflatable. Did they eat? Because I just saw the lady come with the bottle of pink stuff. Did they eat? So it wasn't. Champagne. That's what I wanted to know. And isn't it the stuff that Ken or Cynthia was like the spokesmodel for? <laughs> was it that stuff? <laughs> <laughs> the struggle of this anniversary, y'all. <laughs> Hey, at least he remembered it and tried to do something. No, girl, bye. He wrote an girl, original song or had an original song Hold written. Up. Hold up. First of all, production was like, oh, y'all know your three-year anniversary. Yep. You know that I'm little pro- his that little producer. So not fair. Yes, you know, girl. You know his little producer girl was running. Hello. What are they called? The line runners? Like, no. Um, I don't accept that. You and Cynthia's third anniversary is coming up. Are you doing anything special for that? We have it all planned. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to bring over the tea lights. It'll be perfect. You won't have to worry You're about a thing. Awful. He was on Watch What Happens Live with all the guys from the show, and he said how much he is so in love with Cynthia and how she is his life. But they don't the have sex, and they've had a miserable ever. three-year relationship. They don't have sex because Cynthia wasn't having sex at the time, but he still loves her, and he's standing by her, and she's the best thing that ever happened to him. Of course mm. he's going to say that. It was sincere. I believed it. I know. I like them. Yeah, I they're love They're cute, them. but he is, like, so broke. He okay, and broke. then let's get back. Okay, before we bury the struggle. How mad would we be? <laughs> if he took her somewhere, we'd be like, Peter, you ain't got no money? He had to do I would have been mad. I mean, you didn't even have to. You could be. You could have got a hotel or something. You know? He did. Yeah, it it was like, the third room in the building. Industrial. He got a bed and some pillows. He should have taken her to, like, a grassy knoll. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in the industrial building, like, he set up a pillow and bed. I I'm didn't just see that imagining part. like that would have been what he should have done because it would have been like here's the restaurant She's and joking. here's the hotel. Okay, because I'm like <laughs> I missed that part and. I believe it because he had his friend. You have your friend coming out here singing Sing a song. A song. That, I do not okay. believe Peter wrote them the word, damn no. words. If it was like John Legend. Like, they, they, they got that from. But song. they old school. Real Housewives they of OC, love right? Christopher Williams. When G- Gretchen oh God, who cares? Oh, created yeah. the song that for was so terrible. Yeah. But at least she recorded it herself even though she was terrible. I don't want to hear Peter That's sing. That's why she's not on the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear Peter sing. Um, and then they cheers to better days. 
That's I'm a done. Good thing. No, we're putting that anniversary <laughs> to rest. Hopefully, their fourth year will be great. All right, moving on to Candy. Candy has ten weeks until the performance, and she wants to still put on the production, but she wants this musical to be, you know, maybe a smaller production. Smart. And now her little busy bee worker Don is like, "Well, hold up. <laughs> who won't do all this work? Right? Because Todd says he ain't gonna work here, and Candy's kind of like, "No, we can do it. We can pull it together." And Yada yada yada. Whose team are you on here? Who do you? Whose side do you see? With I think I see Candy. I mean, I mean, she's I would too. Right. She got the money, but you, well, no, but she's right. If they don't try anything, nothing's gonna happen. And if it's her, if she wants to spend her money. She's not an idiot. She might spend a little too much, but she's not like. Stupidest person ever. I see where Don Juan coming from because he know everything is on him. Because yes, yeah, she's putting up the money, but she the one gonna be wandering off and be like, "Did this get done? Did this get done? Did this get?" And it's all got to get done by him. So I understand his stressful struggle mm-hmm. that he's considering. And I've seen Candy Code Nights and No Shade No Tea. It was not good production value. Yes. So and he admits that he doesn't do this. Like he doesn't know anything about what he's doing. So like, what would the musical be? Mm. And shoot, ten thousand dollars a night for that space? You already out thirty. Mm-hmm. And it was like a Girl, high school better, auditorium. You better go to the church. No, it's a real theater. Go it was the it's a real theater, but they should just go to the church. They need to find a church. All right. Have a little go. volunteer night. <laughs> um, and she wants Portia to be part of it. He said, he's like, you don't need to bring all your girls in here <laughs> exactly. just to bring them in. Well, like, you can have Portia like. <laughs> she going to audition? I wish we could see the audition. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> That's got to be somewhere. Tyler White! <laughs> what was my line again? I said I can't come forth, and then we'll be like, I can just picture <laughs> Portia little, walking around her empty ass house, just singing in the echo. Like there has me, to be video. Me, me, me. <laughs> there has to be video somewhere. Uh, all right, let's talk about. Speaking of the struggle of Portia's house, let's talk about her new house with the, uh, she had Nini over there. Like, first of all, did King Arthur own the house before you? Like, why is it decorated like a castle? It's the ugliest house, like, so ever. Ugly. The deer, the thrones. I don't but think the should... house is ugly, like, the inside. I'm, uh, so the people I watched it with thought it was disgusting. They thought it was creepy, a man cave. I, I just don't get why like she lives there. It's very masculine, but I don't get it either. Like, it doesn't make any sense at all that she lives there. She ain't got no furniture except the furniture they left behind, and it's horrible. Oh, oh, except for the picture over the mantle. Oh, of her? See it? I didn't see that. <laughs> it's like a nude a of her. A big portrait. And the old Victorian frame that she got from, like, Michaels. Ridiculous. Oh. And she only got two cups in the house. <laughs> I, uh, you ain't got no dishes. I don't think she lives there. I think she just shows up to film. Yeah. Which is smart on her behalf, because I gotta say, if she's trying to shit on Kenya, she shat on Kenya. No, <laughs> not really. Can not, not really. Cause, not really, because we know the struggle. We know, if it wasn't a struggle, if it was, like, decked out and nice, and she wasn't actually living there and whatever, but just for show, okay. But it's not decked out. She looks like, she literally looks like a squatter that found an empty house, and, like... <laughs> I'm going to pretend like it's mine. Just film nobody's around. She like, does. It looks, like, it's ridiculous. I wonder if someone paid for that house. Well, we thought oh. it was Cordell, remember? Mm-hmm. Mm. No. I just closer to him. It just doesn't make sense that she would pick all the way by Nini. She said she wanted, like, quiet. Keeping up so with stupid. the Joneses. I mean, Candy's area looks pretty quiet. Yeah, no. Everything no. looks quiet. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. remember, remember when they went but to visit Candy's house? It's with... supposedly oh, in the yeah. hood on the south. According to I believe Kim. on the southeast side. Well, so they start gossiping about Kenya and um, the baby and the oil tycoon. And yeah. Is doing. he a prince? Is he an oil tycoon? He doesn't exist. I love that the girls know that he, like, doesn't exist. <laughs> it's so funny. Was he there? <laughs> nope. Mm-mm. And they cackle, cackle, cackle. <laughs> Who bought that car, Kenya? Where'd the car come from? It's rented. Hmm. <laughs> Well, she was at her lovely new house with her aunt, her sis- who is kind of like her sister. She was there with uh, Lori, her aunt, and also Che, who is her cousin, who seemed like she was over Miss Kent. Yeah. yeah. Everybody was. Like, her family does not table. like her. They're like, uh, okay. Even her aunt, like, doesn't even like her that much. She makes this big announcement that she wants to have a child, which, screw you, Barvo, because we thought she was going to inject herself with some sperm today. We should have known. Although we she's at the sperm known. place next week. Perhaps. Yeah, but 
She ain't okay, gonna have a baby. first of all, when you're like going to do that, you don't go look at the microscope and like look through look it. She's like there leaves. as like a scientific experiment. Like, can I come visit your lab as a learning experience? Not like she's not for real for it. What's her gay friend's name? I could just imagine being I don't even him. Know. Is that like, he, like, unlo- no, the other one. He, oh, yeah. He unlocks the, her house door. He's like, Kenya! She's like, I'm upstairs! He's like, oh, what's this bitch doing? And then walking up the stairs, opens up the bathroom. She's like, <laughs> on her back in the tub, just sitting there with the damn, squirting some babies up That's in her. She's like, oh, I gotta wait here for like 45 minutes! Like, I can imagine things he's walked in on Kenya doing, because Kenya is crazy. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> like her Auntie Lori said, you don't really want a baby, do you? I mean, really. How old is she? Well, you're sitting there like, I'm making a decision on who I want the father She's of the like, baby I'm to be. She's like, I'm still deciding on that. Okay, that's like Stranger or Oil Tycoon. And, you know, I don't know if I really want him to have the baby because then I, I don't know if I want my whole life to be changed and I'll have to be swooped over to, you know, Africa, Africa. with my children. Well, what do you want, Kenya? Attention. <laughs> Most women, when they say this, they, like, want to feel, like, empowered and stuff. But she just seems like she does everything for attention. Even that guy in the beginning, he's like, I know Kenya. She plays the vulnerable pretty, pretty woman. woman. Mm. So now it's like, oh, I want to have a baby. Will everyone help me, you know, or... Poor Kenya, she can't get pregnant on her own, so she's got a last resort. Yeah, her cousin was <laughs> her cousin in those scenes was just like, <sighs> here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Kenya show. Yeah. Um, all right, well, moving on from there, we get back to uh, Candy and Todd, um, and they're going to look at that theater. theater. The Rialto uh, or whatever. Todd's was. picking up his phone, and Candy is just being way over dramatic. Yeah. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, calm down. She's still holding on to that emotion from last week when she just cried for no damn reason. <laughs> Why do you want to leave me? Just leave me. Now, I really want to know how this scene went down because the woman that was showing them uh, to him at the end of it looked like she was over them, yeah. done, and irritated. Yeah. She's like, all right, well, uh, yeah, just let me know. Let you me know if you want to put those days. That way and <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to lock up here. You guys can show yourselves out. Like, <laughs> how did that really happen? Go down. I don't know. <laughs> Um, then we find out Todd is turning down his job and he's going to work on the musical. So my <laughs> thing with oh, go ahead. like the perfect phone call comes at the perfect time and then he tells her after. Boo. What do you think this is? I Boo. felt like mm, is this the come up? Boo. You gonna be on Candy's paycheck? Like, do I really want to go out there and do all this work, or do I want to stay at home uh, and just and get paid and do the stupid little musical? Because really, yeah. yeah. If he's going to work for Bravo to do a production, it's got to be like legit Some serious. Work. Yeah. M- Candy's musical, I mean, he could do it in a damn pitch tent in the front yard, yeah. and Candy be like, <laughs> <laughs> But now he's got the upper hand because he's like doing her a favor yes, by staying he with her. Down he's the like job. mastermind it all. Oh, dudes. is he that shady? No. Dudes, dude. He well, just didn't want to take the job. He wants to be with his wifey. I'm getting a little tired of it, but can promise this, promise this. (laughs) (laughs) So we got the whole gang, Cynthia, Mallory, Nini, Marlo, Kenya. They're all talking about they're going to go to the vineyard. Can we just talk about their outfits? Can we just talk (laughs) about how is there a vineyard in Atlanta? I know. (laughs) How is there a vineyard there? How do they decide what to wear? Because Portia looked like she was going to the Grammys. Kenya looked okay. I think Nini and Marlo looked like they were going to a funeral. No, Marlo oh. looked like she was going to a club. club. Did you Those see her? Boots Did you see? or whatever that was. Wait, no, who else was in the black? Until later. All black. Oh, was it Phaedra? Maybe Cynthia. Oh, that was no. Kenya had on all white. She had the white dress on, which was really pretty. But yeah, that's that wine pretty, tasting, dude. Yeah, you saw that plan. Kenya or Candy looked really, really cute. I loved it with the <laughs> necklace, but not for a winery. What? <laughs> Just. I liked it. I would have liked it, except somehow she made something that should have been like super cute the and like thing. glamorous make her look tra- like The hair she, thing? Yeah. I was like, girl, this is you, you are not Rihanna. Not Come on, Ruben, bye off. bye. When you're, like, it wasn't working for me. It I looked liked tired. It. It, was it did. It looked like the struggle piece. Like. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm all about a head turban of any sort, but oh, it didn't work for me. Who else you thought? <laughs> that's all. That's it. That's it all you know. Yeah, that's all I know. 
Well, I just have one thing to say. That thing coming out of the side of what the heck, her uh, Christopher Williams' non-wife's head, her little like <gasps> oh, yeah, no, struggle too. ponytail oh, was no. so I serious. Was, I just wanted like somebody to grab it and like <laughs> shake her head because it that, <laughs> it looked like a handlebar. Why? <laughs> Oh, she tried. She doesn't have a per- she doesn't have a professional hair man. <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, how are you gonna try and read someone? You got this hang on. She's like, like don't come for me, Miss Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wobbling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you she, got in and bitch, you look like the brave little toaster. Oh, <laughs> she did. She did. She doesn't have like hair and makeup yet. She hasn't been cast. Girl. I thought she was cute. I was though. like, bitch, did you forget to put your wig on? You got your hair she up in that little ponytail. But it, it was like a. Wait, did you guys see the part where it was Portia, Candy, and Phaedra on the bus, and they're all like, ah, ha, ha, laughing, yeah. and Phaedra went to go give Portia a no. high five, <laughs> and Portia the entire time was just laughing, like, ah, ha, in her face, but wouldn't give her a high five, and Phaedra it. tried to turn it into, like, she slapped her on the knee. <laughs> Go rewind Phaedra it. always tries to give high That fives. was a funny moment. Um, oh, who else did we get for that part? So, Kenya is on the bus, and she says Christopher and Natalie are not really married and that they are common-law marriage, which means that they have lived together long enough in the sense of we yeah, are yeah. married. And that's great gossip. I'm all about that talk in the van. Mm-hmm. Like, that was totally that's kitchen fine. That's table talk. That's like, yeah, that's what you want to talk about. But we'll get but to what? it. But mm-hmm. what? But the fact that she brought it up, like, who are you? That's what you do to a friend that, like, lies to you all the time, and you're, like, ready to really lay down in front of everyone. Yeah. Like, look, we know you're we lying. We know you're lying. Not like, oh, you're married? I just heard the van. No. Well, Cynthia was spilling all the tea. Cynthia was like, damn, girl, what did you take? A laxative or something? Like, you were just spilling it all, and Kenya was just. What? Kenya started it. Sipping it up. Started it. Yeah, Cynthia was just sharing, and Kenya made it about other things. Uh, you don't share to the media. Because when you share to the <laughs> well, media, it gets... girl chatting. Girl, boy, she's a bitch. Kenya right. is. Um, so she does the tea. Uh, then they started talking about, ooh, poor Phaedra and that workout DVD. <laughs> talking about she looked like the Jolly Green Giant. And they all were agreeing. <laughs> Nobody liked. Was that agreeing. in the little snippet, the commercial break snippet, mm-hmm. where they do like the little short thing? I don't watch those. It was. Oh. It was. It was. They called her the Jolly Green Giant. It was yeah, I mean, because she. Well, no, because they initially were saying like they're like, oh, Phaedra's not, and because they were talking about Candy having lost weight, and they're like, well, Phaedra's, not, and then everybody's like, no, Phaedra had a baby, and then Kenya chimes up, not when she did that video, oh. and then Cynthia tried to soften it and be like, yeah, I just, and you know. I didn't love the green suit. And then Kenya's like, the jolly green giant. Like, and it just. And Nini and Marla are like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. Aww. It was so bad. But I will say that was probably not the most flattering outfit for a video. It wasn't. Um, they go at the vineyard. Yes. And Candy randomly talks about not having a wedding and just going to the courthouse. Mm-hmm. Why would you bring that up now? Well, they were like asking, asking her. But yeah, you're right. I would have just not set it up. Like, oh, yeah, we're still planning. No. Done. Um, and then Melanie says, oh, you know, we just got married off the whim. We went to Vegas. Wait, can we talk about I'm sorry, not Mal? Melanie. Mallory Mal. said yeah. she got married in Vegas. Who and Natalie said she just got eloped. Year. Okay, who is the guy that she's with for eight <laughs> Girl, years bye. and just the fine? Football player. The one the that she only can player. get money if she goes to him? It's her husband, the basketball player that used to date her daughter. If you're married for eight years, why are you staying with your sister for two months? Because he's in Korea playing basketball. And she can't get money while he's over there. She's like, and we're just fine. We're, I'm trying Nobody to figure asked. that's that struggle. It don't make no sense, honey. Girl, I'm like, Cynthia, you and your sister have struggle relationships. Mm-hmm. But Cynthia looked good at the uh, Golden Globe Awards. She did. She always looks good. She wore that blue dress. I know, but we just talking so much shade about her relationship, and I feel like she's a real sensitive soul, so I just want to give her a <laughs> You still look good, though, girl. <laughs> but you look good, even though you and your struggle. Um... Natalie says, yeah, me and Chris, we just eloped. And Kenya was like, oh. What? Well, that ain't what I hit her. That's not what he was telling everybody. No. I mean, it, Natalie could have taken this two ways. She could have taken it the way Candy kind of took everything. 
But instead, she doesn't really know how to deal with the demons and, <laughs> and these women. She dove right in. She did. Natalie starts bringing up when a... Well, Kenya starts bringing up about the whole common law thing. Natalie starts getting frantic. Marlo kind of changes the subject and says, yeah. you know, uh, Candy, don't get married in a, in a courthouse. No. Don't get don't married. Do that. Like, bitch, you don't even give a damn. Why are you telling her that? Because they want to come back to the vineyard for a wedding. Girl, bye. <laughs> um, and then Natalie starts jumping into the conversation saying yeah I know Todd and his ex-girlfriend and starts blaming Kenya for the fact that she just brought up Todd mm. didn't make any sense yeah so Ayo. then she starts saying to Kenya stop talking about other people's marriages which gets Phaedra irritated and is like yeah girl if you ain't been married don't talk about it Phaedra I thought you were over it no yeah, but right? she stuck that right in there yep um, what a dumb thing to say anyway if you're not married don't talk about being married like what? Right. We don't have to all be married to have an opinion on marriage. Right, because sometimes it's the people watching who can see how that marriage is really Right? Um, <laughs> Kenya reads Natalie for filth, and it, I have to say it was an amazing moment for me. Um, <laughs> as much as Kenya irritates me, just watching Natalie and her pet struggle ponytail, it was amazing. Um, so she starts bringing up, Kenya starts bringing up uh, that Natalie was telling Cynthia that Todd is an opportunist. And Natalie starts talking about Todd and she said, no, 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 I just said that Todd was always on the come up. And then she kind of was like, oh, that sounded weird. No, what I meant yeah. was he always found himself in a better situation. Mm -hmm. And Nini starts going, D -d 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 don't retract Check. your statement. You're still saying the same thing. Yeah. Just with different words. Word vomit. And then she's like, but and I mean it in a good way. Like, he was always trying to. No, you No, you didn't. You didn't, no, you you didn't, didn't. mean it in a good way. Because you were mad your little friend got, was what, roadkill? Casualty of the war? I don't, whatever you want to call her. It was sad. Sad to I watch. Love Kit. She's like, my friend, he, she used to date my friend, Ani. And Kenny's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, then Candy kind of didn't make... None of the girls were really making sense because then Candy throws Cynthia under the bus. Yes. And Candy's talking about, you know, I've known Peter before I knew uh, Cynthia. Yeah. And I, don't, I, I know all kind of stuff about him. And I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. I don't you think he brings did. it to the, pe to the, to the table yeah. now. Like, and, and Cynthia's like, that was a dig. And Candy's like, Candy's so believable. Almost. She's like, I didn't mean that as a dig. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you did, girl. So then Candy reads Natalie for filth. Yes, she has. For filth. Natalie, well, I can't imagine what Natalie is doing watching this episode right now. Well, I mean, when they were showing her, I felt like those parts were edited in because yeah. every single camera angle didn't have her in it. Every single one. And then they just kept going to her. I don't think she was sitting there going like this. <laughs> I don't they know. She looked like... But then why would they have just shown her in the whole group scene? Because that would have been a better shot. But they didn't. But anyway, well, it doesn't matter how she was acting. Can you still tell about it? Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. She told her. I don't know, girl. But what I can tell you, Natalie, is next time you on TV. And what was uh, Nini's little friend, Monique? Monique? Yeah. Oh, Monique, yeah. Natalie and Monique, if next time y'all are on national television, I'm going to need y'all to come spruced up, come with your makeup <laughs> on, your wig on. If you're feeling a little heavy, you know, you might want to be like Cynthia because yes. she's looking real good. And if you're going to fight with Kenya, kind of be ready. Maybe be prepared because prep Kenya, beforehand. Mm, that one line where she was like, meanwhile, you were just, like, she, ne she like, got it out of her mouth perfectly, like, perfection. She called her a straight up groupie. But, but Marlo kind of looked like crap. Her hair didn't look good. Her makeup didn't look good. Her outfit didn't look good. She looked really good when she first came on the show. She looked pretty good. She looked pretty tired, I will admit, but Marlo's old. Yeah. <laughs> and, and doing the things that she does to exist. She's tired. She look a little well out. And I gotta say, I'm loving that these girls are bringing these people yeah. in. And it's just like, it's like a... An, uh, an older version of Bad Girls Club yes, in the sense of we're exactly not going to beat these girls up physically, but we will read them, mm -hmm. take yeah. them to the library. And it's like the producers are finding, okay, who do you know that knew Todd 18 years ago that feels the same, same way, way about him that Candy's mom does? Let's Go. find them. Let's yes. cast them. And how can we say like they're this, your best friend? This couple came out of nowhere. 
nowhere. Nowhere. Except that Christopher Williams wants to, you know, revamp his career. So he's singing. And he's on television and he's lying about his wife. And she knows she ain't his wife. But this is the worst thing for both of these guys. Because even, what was it, last week, Charles and Monique? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He, and he looking couple. like a damn hoe, his damn self. But they just won't be on TV, man. They just won't be on TV. So they bring the goods. But you guys, the only, Kenya got really defensive when the girl turned it around and was like, I know some stuff about you that he told me. She got really defensive. That's when she got mad. Really That's when she got up in her face and got mad. Her Bring that. her back because we want to know more. Well, I'm excited because next week looks like we're going to. But before we get into next week, Stephanie, why don't you share with uh, Natalie how you stay so thin? <laughs> well, Natalie, take some pointers. <laughs> Slim fast. What? It's true. Okay. Uh, sl- <laughs> really? <laughs> Slim fast. Two weeks is all you need to get what you really want. In 14 days, your the only thing higher than your confidence will be your hemline. Hey. Natalie. Yeah. Uh, this mini podcast dress. is brought to you by Slim Fast. Get some mini dresses out. All these girls need it if they want to look like Cynthia. Yes, get they them fast together. I mean, Natalie, you, she was thin. She really didn't she need was Slim Fast. I don't know. She just, cute. Needs, she just had a bad hair. hair. Makeover, yeah. Yeah, she needs some hair. She, she had, like, needs, nice arms and stuff. Yeah, she was fit. A little pinky tail. She just needs to get the pinky tail. Like, add some extensions for some uh, volume. She needs some thickness. And she'll be good. But she also needs to recognize that you ain't his wife. And he telling everybody. Because Kenya Aww. continued that conversation on Twitter by posting a YouTube video of it. <gasps> of what? Of what? What did she post? Like you are trying. A clip? She posted a clip of an interview Christopher Williams did with, I think it was uh, V103 in Atlanta. Or one of the radio stations in Atlanta. Um, and he's asked, point blank. Are you married? And he's like, no, I don't. I don't have a relationship. Oh, <laughs> eight, eighteen years. And she posted it. I was dying. Eighteen, eighteen years. And I years. believe the video was from because you know how like YouTube it can be like who posted it, like when it was actually mm-hmm. from. I'm not certain, but it was posted in like the summer of last year. She's like, you're the only one I've ever heard say that ever. I think you're lying. Girl, by you're mad. You're mad. Your tea spilt on the table. Mm-hmm. On that note, let's head into predictions. Ooh. And now, that is you're a, after Buzz TV. She's just keeping it I love Kenya. Kenya. She's, she's, she's like, spot. She ain't going nowhere. Yeah, right? <laughs> she, that's what she's doing with her little gay friend. She got him upstairs in one of the rooms with a filing cabinet. Looking just stuff. looking for tea on all the bitches. <laughs> she's uh, the researcher, the <laughs> like, historian. I'm going to keep stirring it up. I'm keeping my spot. Well, all right. So this was definitely a lead-up episode. I'm excited for next yes. week. Because next week... Who's all getting in these? The who's table. getting in the, like the physical fights? Well, it I mean, looked like <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be Peter. Well, it looks like uh, the Christopher comes for Kenya, and her gay tries to protect her, and then some kind of way Peter gets in the mix to try to pull it apart, but ends up fighting with Chris, right? And I feel like it all kind of stems from Peter being upset with Candy. Because yes. he said, I want to talk to Candy. Mm-hmm. And so Nene just feels like, oh, we're going to have a slumber party with all Pillow relationships. Talk. Pillow talk. Ah. <laughs> Are we filming it for Candy Cody right. Nights? Like, what's the point of that? And, well, and then we get Kenya at the damn sperm bank. Looking for Michael Jordan sperm. And I can just imagine what the hell Phage has got up her sleeve. For the, is it the birthday? Oh, is it, it the, has to what be is his it, first christening? birthday. Or actually, yeah, it looked like they were on like the, the steps of a church. Family. Oh. The first family. family. Really? Fajan. Apollo ain't even got no job. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I know we ain't comparing him to Come Obama. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. On that note, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit us up every week. You guys can follow us at AfterBuzz TV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Keep the conversation going with us all week long. Me at DJ Jesse J. Step Hour TV. Stuart Starlet. Until next week, same time, same place. Peace. Peace. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 
Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.